Since the founding fathers, the love of the land is something buried deep inside of us. It is our heritage, our history, our passion. And we are its greatest stewards. From the smallest blades of grass to the widest of nature's wonders. This is who we are. This is Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land. Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Outdoor Bank, get out there. Big Frick, a way of life. Frank's Butcher Shop, Wyoming born, raised and shipped to your door. And by Hayden Outdoors Real Estate, the brand that sells the land. Welcome to Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land. I'm your host, Alan Treadwell. On this episode, we head out to New Mexico to check out some of the most highly coveted elk and mule deer ground in the country in the famed Rio Arriba County. And then we're off to Colorado to check out an incredible hunting property that has been meticulously managed for world-class waterfowl with 17 ponds, irrigation, pit blinds, and a hunting lodge that's ready to go. And while we showcase a few select listings on each episode, Hayden Outdoors has hundreds of properties from coast to coast listed on HaydenOutdoors.com. Now let's head out west. We had the opportunity to meet up with a cowboy by the name of Dakota Eldridge and get a first-hand look in the sport of steer wrestling. Dakota Eldridge, 17th in the world. He's got to climb two spots to get to his 10th NFR. Two-time Canadian finalist. 11 years ago, the all-around and steer wrestling rookie of the year. Trying to get some critical playoffs points as well. There you go. Uh, Eldridge, please. So Dakota Eldridge is a 32-year-old Nevada native and a 10-time NFR qualifier who's made quite the name for himself in the steer wrestling world. Dakota has over 1.6 million in career earnings, NFR average titles, and a lifetime spent perfecting this treacherous skill. So as most are aware, the rodeo scene is a brutal one. From bull riding, to buck and bronx, to steer wrestling, I can think of a lot of easier ways to earn some cash. And these guys and gals that play the game have gotta be some of the grittiest ever produced. And in the sport of steer wrestling, mounted riders chase a steer and leap from a horse at speeds up to 30 miles per hour. They grab the steer by the horns and wrestle the 600 pound beast to the ground. Fastest time wins, simple as that. As anyone could guess, it's quite the skill to master, and it takes a cowboy years of work to work his way up the ranks and qualify for an event like the NFR. These guys dedicate their lives to the thrill of it and the dream of a buckle. And I was fortunate enough to get invited out to California by longtime steer wrestler Dakota Eldridge to hear his story and get an exclusive look into what all goes into this iconic pastime of bulldogging. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
how fast are we gonna go? Maybe go about five before I warm up. What, why, why bulldogging? Uh, bulldogging for me, it, uh, it honestly, it just kind of, it, it fell that way for me. I team roped and calf roped a lot in high school, more so than I did bulldogging. I just did it because my dad did it. My dad was great at it. He won the state all four years in high school and, and then he started a family and took care of us, you know, and I can't thank him enough for doing that. Him and my mom, the sacrifices they made for us, you know. Hey, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, sir. Hey, 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 run through the feet, run through the horns. Even right there, though, you burnt that horn when you went to go to the nose, you got back and, and you owe everybody a case of beer, too. Lost your hat. How do you lose a ball cap, Willie? That's a case of beer. If you lose a cowboy hat or a ball cap, it's a case of beer. So anyways, I just did it through high school and then college I did it and um, and I won high school and placed at nationals and stuff, but I, I never really just craved it, you know, I always loved team rope and calf rope and then uh, went to college and had some success. And then my rookie year, I was steer and I bought a calf horse and uh, I had this bulldogging horse, Rusty, that pretty much made my career. I rode him at the high school finals, rode him at the college finals and then rode him at the finals for like eight years, or seven years probably at the NFR. Wow. I knew I had a good horse. Anyway, so that rookie year I went and uh, calf roped a bunch uh, and steer wrestled, but I, uh, man, I just kept winning in the steer wrestling. And I won the uh, resist all rookie of the year in the steer wrestling, and I also won the all around, but didn't win near as much as I wanted in the calf rope. So then that next year was my, you know, my first year of actually like, hey, I'm gonna take a shot at this and I, I still calf rope, but then I kind of focus more on bulldogging and that's, and I made the finals that next year, made the finals 15th and then the rest is history. I've been <laughs> bulldogger ever since. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Big Frick, a way of life. It's time to elevate your banking experience. Open an account with Outdoor Bank in under five minutes, anytime, anywhere. It's quick and easy. Instantly fund your account with a debit card, credit card, or wire transfer. Rest easy with advanced encryption and security protocols. Ensuring your personal and financial information is protected. Start managing your finances, transferring money, and making payments right away. Open your account today and experience a different level of banking with Outdoor Bank. Broken Box Ranch at Broken Bow is a wonderful 2,854-acre cattle ranch in Custer County, Nebraska. This ranch offers large native pastures and a robust water system, as well as turkey, deer, and upland honey. Currently, the property runs 325 mother cows year-round, and the headquarters features a comfortable three-bedroom ranch home, as well as several corrals, a Quonset building, and a loafing shed. For more information, please contact Clay Owens, Bryn Hayden, or visit HaydenOutdoors.com. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Frank's Butcher Shop, Wyoming born, raised, and shipped to your door. Hi, I'm Bryce with Frank's Butcher Shop in Wyoming. We're gonna do a little cooking tip today for your Wyoming born, raised, and processed steak. When you cook your steak, you want the internal temperature of it to meet your temperature that you're desiring. So to help you do that, what you wanna do is actually put your steak out at least 30 minutes before you're about to cook it. Uh, what this will do is help it get to room temperature to eliminate a variable so you can cook it to your desired temperature. Uh, another little tip after that, is once you're done cooking it, let it rest for five minutes and this will help the steak absorb all the juices inside of it and not get all over your cutting board. So if you want to visit us at FranksButcherShop.com and get these awesome steaks. Now let's head to Rio Arriba County, New Mexico to check out a property agent Greg Little has listed, Wild Elk Ranch. I'm Greg Little with Hayden Outdoors. Today finds us on the 2,800 acres Wild Elk Ranch, Rio Arriba County, New Mexico. We're approximately 35 minutes south of Pagosa Springs 
in their G5 capable airport. This 2,800 acres was a part of the Broken Butt Ranch that was 16,000 acres. It's got aspen stands on the top end, altitude of approximately almost uh, 9,000 feet, live springs smothered in elk wallows, and it borders the 30,000 acres of the Quinlan Ranch. On the front side, it is bordered by the 11,000 acres of the Humphrey State Wildlife Management Area in New Mexico. This property was uh, originally pursued by the New Mexico State and Game Commission because of its population of mule deer and elk tracked by radio collars. They've determined this exact bench and plateau is one of the highest densities of elk and mule deer in the state of New Mexico, and they were attempting to purchase it unsuccessfully. The property is uh, fully surveyed, fenced, has incredible water holes, all improved for the game, food plots, um, custom shooting houses. One of the uh, best features about the property is our resident cattle grazer. It's a fifth generation cattle family. They uh, bring their cattle in for a couple months a year, graze the property. Income's approximately $7,500 a year, but the main thing is it keeps the ranch in agricultural tax status. Drops your tax bill about 95% and, and keeps the ranch in great shape. Uh, the property comes with approximately uh, 15 elk tags, 100% uh, draw for landowner elk tags as long as you make the deadline, which is mid-March each year. Wild turkeys abound, you have blue grouse, but it is uh, one of the highest densities of big game tags per acre in the nation today. Uh, Rio Reba County has produced more Boone and Crockett mule deer in the record book every decade since 1960. No other county has come close. Uh, you're sitting approximately three miles from the Colorado line, so you have Colorado's beauty, but, but New Mexico's big game tags and their tax base. This segment of Hayden Outdoors Life on the Land is brought to you by Outdoor Bank. Get out there. Introducing Hayden Outdoors Mercantile. Get your own Hayden Outdoors branded gear for your life outdoors and more. Offering a variety of branded gear and apparel from finely crafted clothing, handmade leather accessories, coolers, drinkware, hats, and more from popular brands like Orvis, Big Frig, Tacticam, Cool, and more. So go to HaydenOutdoors.com, pick up your collection of Hayden gear, and join the stampede. Hayden Outdoors Mercantile, ride for the brand. It's time to elevate your banking experience. Open an account with Outdoor Bank in under five minutes, anytime, anywhere. It's quick and easy. Instantly fund your account with a debit card, credit card, or wire transfer. Rest easy with advanced encryption and security protocols. Ensuring your personal and financial information is protected. Start managing your finances, transferring money, and making payments right away. Open your account today and experience a different level of banking with Outdoor Bank. Looking to sell your land quickly? Hayden Outdoors offers online land auctions through our auction platform and mobile app. In just 45 days, we can list your property, design and launch a property marketing plan, and host an online auction through our proven online auction platform. Contact one of our land professionals today to learn more about land auctions at HaydenOutdoors.com. For more information about any of the properties featured on Life on the Land, visit www.haydenoutdoors.com. Now let's head to Morgan County, Colorado to check out a property Seth Hayden has listed, the Double Barrel Hunting Lodge. Got 
去。Montana, thanks for the hunt today. You've got an amazing property. You've got 406 plus acres and um, incredible hunting. The ponds that you guys have set up, I've learned that DU originally done, designed these ponds. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was originally designed by Ducks Unlimited. They put the water out here. Most of it comes you know, in from the reservoir and it fills 15 ponds. Over the years that we've owned it, we've improved on the ponds because they were starting to get taken over and so we just continue to develop it and over the years it seems like we've gained birds every year you know of each species and this year it seems to be the snows that are here early and just waiting on some candidates to show up. We saw an amazing amount of snows. We saw a fair amount of ducks. It's still early. Canada's too, but I couldn't believe the sheer number of birds in the air today. Seth, how many acres is Double Dome? It's uh, just over 400. It's got 15 ponds on it. We're sitting here on one. It's a cool property. When they fill that reservoir, which they have a lease on, they um, there's outflow pipes that he can control the water to fill each pond. And he kind of does it throughout the fall to have them end up full. And then he's got pits all around and you hope you scout them good enough to show up at the right place each day. <laughs> it's all about the waterfowl but the bonus stuff is deer and I actually I love fishing and I understand you have a lease on Bansal Reservoir that for the waterfowl you hunt it some but kind of use it as a sanctuary as yeah as. I mean I'm I'm not a huge fisherman and ever since we owned the place I became a fisherman I mean it's it's insane the amount of fish that you can catch up there the deer hunting, there's a lot of deer. I get calls every year. People want to lease it out for deer hunting. Pretty much a turnkey deal. You're running an outfitting business out of it. Correct. Um, so we're sitting here in your lodge, and it's got a fantastic great room where it just feels like a, a great place for the duck hunters to come and be able to stay. You've got four bedrooms. I think you sleep seven. Yeah, 17. And then to go along with the lodge, you've got outbuildings. You've got insulated, heated outbuildings. Yeah. and. I can't believe the amount of gear you had. We didn't put it all out today, but... Not even close, <laughs> but, you know, it's there if you need it. Yeah, and all that is set up again with this thing as turnkey, so if someone is, gives us a call and wants to look at it, they can literally show up, some personal effects leave, and they got a full-blown operation to run and have yeah. everything they need to go shoot them the next day if they want. Exactly. It's ready to go. For more information about any of the properties featured on Life on the Land, visit www.haydenoutdoors.com. Goodland, Kansas, 1976 is where it all began for Hayden Outdoors Real Estate. Over 200 brokers and agents from coast to coast. We're still going strong. If you want to sell your farm, ranch, hunting property, needing a land valuation, or in the position to purchase your next property, give our team a call at 866-741-8323. That's 866-741-8323. Or visit HaydenOutdoors.com. Hayden Outdoors is the brand that sells the land. The Frank story started when Billy Brenton learned quality Wyoming beef was not readily available to everyone at an affordable price. Billy's vision of Frank's Butcher Shop came to life to bring Wyoming raised beef cut straight from your personal butcher, fresh to your table. Visit franksbutchershop.com and take 25% off for subscribing and enjoy delicious, high quality, dry aged beef. Frank's, Wyoming born, raised and shipped from our door to yours. 
The Durham County Horse and Cattle Farm is one of Hayden Outdoor's premier North Carolina listings. This 693 plus acre farm boasts a turnkey equestrian facility, pastures for cattle, and over 240 acres of high yielding farm ground. With three different homes, multiple outbuildings, ponds, creeks, and a great road system, this offering is perfect for those wanting those wide open spaces in the South. For more information, contact John Tate or go to HaydenOutdoors.com. For more information about any of the properties featured on Life on the Land, visit www.HaydenOutdoors.com. Good the amazing thing is like, when you watch anybody that's good at something, like they make it look easy and you're like, oh, you know, maybe I could do that. Right. But then you watch, you know, I mean, not the wheelie was doing a bad job at it, but like you've been doing it for a while and you're like, hell that bull's liable, or that steer's liable to kill me if I tried right. that. Go to Eldridge, trying to win his first Cheyenne title. Getting ready to slam the beef. Slow game, fast start. Pacer moves him over. And there we go. I mean, you think about everything that you do in your whole life, and, and I gotta think that the National Finals Rodeo is, is, is the goal every year, right? Oh yeah. So, 10, 10 go-rounds, and if you, had, if you had your way, you're working for 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. for the whole year, you're yeah. wanting 30 good seconds, yeah. right? Oh. I, I've been trying to tr trying to watch, like, where, where are you actually grabbing on the horns to throw them things? Yeah, so when we'll, we'll be running alongside of them, and we kind of got our hand around the neck, and we kind of got this hand up here. If they're fresh steers or something, we might put this hand over their horns right here, for they don't pop their head up and get us in the mouth, like that scar right there. Uh, but for the most part, so we'll run up here and then when we throw our feet, it's a timing deal. You run and you kind of time it and you run and you'll throw your feet, but then you got to latch up with this right, your right arm latches up with the right horn right there. And then this left hand will come and get this left horn, put it right in your pocket right there. And then it naturally places that steer's head across your body. And then we feel him, we're just, we're feeling that steer, trying to make it easy on him and easy on us. So we're feeling his back end of the steer. And when that back end of the steer gets light, then we'll go to the nose. I mean, when we get down here and go to the nose, then we pull out and then that's when the steer's feet come up in the air and land. So yeah, I mean, you have to have your timing, obviously, as a as as the rider of, of when when to not when not not break that barrier, right? I mean, I mean, it's it's got to be it's got to be a big deal to get that timing down. Yeah, the most time we either say we're going to go with the steer or just go behind him, you know. So it's not like in the team rope and they say, hey, I want to see, I want to see that steer's flank or that steer's flank, as you see, or the rib bone or whatever. To, so you're looking for it to cross the point in that chute yeah. to start your horse. Yeah, they call this is called the pin here. This is where they pin the barrier. They'll run a pin right through here. And, and so they'll say, I want to see tail to the pin. So they'll see that tail of the steer all the way to this point and then go as hard as they can. So that's when you, that's when you that's release when you the leave. horse. That's like in a team rope situation. Yeah. You know, and yeah. the steer is a lot faster. And most time we might have to see a steer do this much. We might just want to make sure he goes in front of us. You know there's a saying, excellence is not a skill, it's an attitude. And watching someone like Dakota and the level of commitment and dedication he has for what he's doing is so evident. And there's no wonder he's had so much success in the sport. But even with all his earnings and accomplishments and years stacked on years of rodeo after rodeo, there's just one thing he's after before hanging it up. And that's a gold buckle from the National Finals Rodeo. Won the average twice down there, but that gold buckle's kind of eluded me. So, you know, just just back in the tenth go around, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people get nervous, but it's like, man, how, this is what we live our whole lives yeah. for—is to back in that tenth go around have a shot of gold buckle. And it's like you back in there, and I mean, I get goosebumps talking about it because there's there's no better feeling when you, whether it's, I mean, you got a chance first round, but that tenth round, that's when it's like, hey, this is it right here. You know, this is where all the money's made right here. <laughs> 
Hit him right in, kick him. Kick him. Right. Dakota's a family man with two young daughters. And like his dad, he'll be looking to help his little girls chase their dreams, whatever they might be. And I wanna give a big thanks to Dakota for having us out and sharing his passion with us. And if you've got a story or event you'd like featured on Life on the Land, be sure to let us know. Because it's genuine folks all across this country that make it such a special place to buy up some ground and live Life on the Land. For more information on any of our great properties for sale, please call 866-741-8323 or visit us online at HaydenOutdoors.com.